What's up people, I'm George Kyle and welcome back to Jikun with Connect. On today's episode, we're making chicken tikka masala with garlic naan. Let's get cooking. The ingredients required are tomatoes, onions, fresh coriander, ginger, garlic, butter, turmeric, cumin, garam masala, coriander powder, cayenne powder, plain yogurt, and chicken breast. Most of the food was gotten from the Connect Food Plus. The link for that is in the description box below. Add in one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of coriander, one teaspoon of cumin, and one teaspoon of garam masala. This is an entire teaspoon of chili, but you can reduce it if you like less. Make sure to cut your tomatoes into finely cubed pieces like this, but they don't need to be that fine because they'll break down in the pan as they cook. Now cut up your onions into rings. To remove the coating from the garlic, aggressively smash it and it should come out in one go, just like that. Finally cut them up into cubes or you can grate them if you're lazy. Then make sure you grate some ginger so that you get two tablespoons of it. Now first start by cutting your chicken into strips. Then you'll cut those strips into cubes and make sure they're medium sized. Start off by adding butter to a hot pan. Once your butter is melted, add in your sliced onions. Then give them a mix to be well combined. Next, add in your diced garlic and ginger. Once your onions and garlic are fragrant, add in your tomatoes. Add in your tomatoes and onions to your blender and blend them till smooth. Now, add in your cubed chicken together with all your spices Then add in one cup of your plain yogurt. All together till well combined. Then let it marinate for 30 minutes in the fridge. In the same pan that you cooked your tomato sauce in, add in some more butter and let it melt down. Then add in your marinated chicken mixture. Then also add in some salt to taste. Now, once your chicken starts sticking to the pan like this, you know that it's ready. 
Now, this is the point where you add in your tomato sauce. Then you reduce it till it's nicely thickened. Go in with the blended tomato sauce. Give it all a mix and let it reduce. Now, it will start bubbling a lot like this, and you should just cover it up and let it reduce. Otherwise, you'll have dirt everywhere. Once it bubbles up slowly, the chicken tikka masala is ready. The next step is in making our naan, and for that we will need honey, flour, yeast, salt, and mala, or fermented milk, or plain yogurt. But don't attempt to use vanilla yogurt, you'll make a terrible mistake. Start by spooning your flour into a cup, and make sure that it's even before it gets to the top. Then add in two cups of your flour into the bowl. Then add in two tablespoons of yeast. Then add in half a tablespoon of salt. And mix it all till well combined. The next step is to add in your yogurt. This is an entire cup of it going in. Then use a very firm spoon to mix it all together till a shaggy dough forms. And don't forget to add in a tablespoon of honey like I did. Now, dump out the shaggy mass of dough onto the flour, like the way your ex dumped you. Then knead your dough on a floured surface till it comes together, and is smoother than your skin. And if it sticks like this, don't be afraid to add more flour. Once your dough comes together like this, Add in a few tablespoons of very soft butter and knead it in. Now, once your dough is smoothed out like this, add it back to your bowl and cover it and let it proof for an hour and a half. After an hour and a half, your dough should have risen and looks like this. Now, we get to shaping the naan. First, start by dumping out your flour onto a work surface like this. Gently sprinkle on some flour so that it doesn't stick to the rolling pin. Gently roll out your dough and this will help it degas. Cut it into six even pieces, which will make for our naan. Shape your dough into a tight circle to form a ball. Then we'll roll out that ball to form a nice round naan. Always ensure to fly a rolling pin before so that it doesn't stick. Naan is made on a pan without any oil. So you have to ensure that your pan is a non-stick pan, preferably. Or you can use a chapati pan which has the remaining layer of oil on it, so that it doesn't stick. Now, this is our dry pan with no oil, and we shall go ahead and add our naan to it. Now give it one or few two turns. When you add your naan to the pan, it should immediately start forming this, and once the know that it's ready to flip. The last and final step of making our naan is making the garlic butter. Now, start by adding your butter to the pan. Add in your garlic the chili and your coriander. Then let it all melt in the pan.
Then, simply spread your garlic butter on top of each slice of the naan and make sure it gets to both sides of the naan. The naan is now ready. Now that the two meals are ready, it's time for them to be reviewed. My name is Jeff Okot, and today I've been invited to have a taste here at Jikoni with Kon. Let's have a taste. Cut the bread. Have a pinch with the meat, at least two. Mm. Mm. Very delicious. Let's share the second one to confirm the taste. It's very spicy, the way I like it. And you can feel the flavors inside the chicken. Cheers. Mm. That's it guys, we've come to the end of today's episode. Remember to like, share and subscribe. And for more of my personal content, head over to Yeah It's Kyle on both Instagram and TikTok.